I don't really know how to do this. You probably don't really know me. We only met once, and that was 17 years ago, back when I was just a little thing. Yeah, you delivered the eulogy at my father's funeral. Um, so yeah, 17 years ago, you see, my, my father, uh, my, my, my father, uh, he worked in construction. And he got up real, real early in the morning, and my mother Bethany would make him a pot of coffee. And he, he, he'd be gone by the time I woke up. And by the time he got home, he'd be too mean to talk to. So I didn't see much of my father 17 years ago. So one day my father gets sent out by this man named William. My dad called him Bill. My dad called him a bastard pretty often too. He worked, my father works for Bill. And so Bill sent my daddy out to this old burnt out house. Apparently the people who lived there were mean or witches or something. Because the people in the town nearby had done really burned down one night. I'd only seen it a couple times in my life when my mother and I went out for a drive. So my father was sent out to this old burnout building. And the roof fell in on him and they say he died immediately. <laughs> when he was crushed under the force of the few remaining support beams. And that's when I met you, Father, and that's when you met my mother, Bethany. Maybe you still see her around. She still comes on Sundays. I'm not around much, but... So it was about a week after I met you, Father, and we were at my house, and Bill came over to pay his respects, and... We ate burnt hot dogs and canned cream corn. He talked about how what a good man my father was and told, told me about some man that I'd never known. I could smell the lies on his breath along with the gin. So I'm sitting there eating my burnt hot dog, 11 year old boy, and I see it in my eye. William's hand resting there on my mother's thigh. I've made a lot of assumptions in my life, Father, and I've made an ass of myself often. So a little 11 year old boy climbs up his stairs and goes to his room and gets the 22 his father bought him for his 10th. And it's late at night after mom has gone to bed. She's got to work early tomorrow, and so I walked on out, 11 year old boy carrying a 22 rifle down the street. I knew where William lived because my father met him every morning before they went out on their jobs. And I creeped up the stairs like a mouse. And I slipped down the hallway like a cat. And I burst through the door like a rabbit dog. And I jumped up off his bed. And I could smell the chin and the lies in the air. And he half opened his eyes. Before I shot the shot, there was the last scream that he ever heard ringing through his dreams. And I ran home to my mom, all covered in blood. And she said, she said, it's okay, son. We just won't ever tell no one. I feel awful mixed up about it. It's been 17 years now. I don't even really know what I'm, why I'm here. I think, I think I'm well past forgiveness. Going to hell, aren't I, Father?